Today on the MarineAndReef.com budget tank build series, we're going to go over how to clean your aquarium glass. On our last episode, we put our first fish in the tank. Now the tank is starting to get dirty and it really needs a cleaning. So the most important piece of cleaning when it comes to regular daily tasks is going to be cleaning the tank glass. The tank glass is dirty. We can't see what's going on and it looks really ugly. Now there's three different tools that we're going to recommend everybody has to help clean their aquarium glass. And we'll show you guys one at a time what they are and why you want all three of them. The first one is what you're going to use most of the time is a cleaning magnet. Now, if you don't know what a cleaning magnet is, basically it's a cleaning device that has an inside portion with a scrubbing pad on it and a magnet inside it and an outside portion with a magnet and just like a smooth piece of felt. And what that lets you do is it lets you move the outside portion and the inside portion goes with it so you can clean the glass without getting your hands wet. The great thing about this is it makes cleaning your glass a whole lot easier because you don't have to get wet. And when many people ask, how often do you clean your glass? If I'm honest, usually I walk up to the tank and if I see a spot, I just wipe it. And I might do that a couple times a day every time I look at the tank. However, there are some limitations to magnet cleaners. The biggest ones are that because the, out, the inside portion is pushed up against the front glass, if you clean really close to the sand line, which is also often where it looks the worst, you'll get a piece of sand caught between the inside portion and the glass. And then when you move it across, that piece of sand can get scratches in your tank glass. So you really want to be careful getting close to the sand line. I would recommend you leave a good at least half an inch or inch that you don't clean with the cleaning magnet to avoid scratches. The next thing is going to be the corners. So your cleaning magnet is going to bump up against the silicone in the corners and it's not going to push in there very well at all because it's flat and it's not rounded so it can't clean them well. And finally the back. Now you don't have to clean the back but generally tanks look better if the back is clean but it's really hard to use a cleaning magnet on the back of the tank. You can't really reach behind and use it. So for that, we're going to look at some other tools. The next one we're going to recommend everybody has is a scraper. Now this here is a Seachem scraper. The Seachem scraper is becoming my favorite scraper. And basically it's a metal blade. And the metal blade is really good at removing really, really tough algae. You're going to find there's some algae that the magnet cleaner doesn't remove well. This is going to help you go right through it and chew through it in no time. Um, the reason I like the Seachem one over some of the others is if you drop it, it floats to the top where you can grab it. And also the blade retracts in, which to me is a big, big, big plus because I find when I put these in cabinets, if it doesn't and it stays out, I often step on them or drop something on them. They get bent up and the blades don't last as long. So I just like that I can retract it in, know that it's not going to get bumped or dinged up um, in any um, quick manner. And finally, you're going to need some kind of scrubbing pad. Now, what is the scrubbing pad for? Well, the scrubbing pad is flexible, so it's great for areas like the corners that aren't completely flat, or if I want to clean against the filter that's rounded, the scraper doesn't work well at that. You can't use the cleaning magnet on that, so you're going to want to use a scrubbing pad. This here is one of the lifeguard scrubbing pads. It's one that has been well used in many tanks here. This is becoming my favorite scrubbing pad because it lasts a long time. There's a lot of great scrubbing pads that do a good job, but it seems like you have to throw them away every week because they just totally fall apart. This one lasts quite a while. It's also pretty aggressive, but it won't scratch acrylic. So I can use this inside an acrylic skimmer body to clean it out and it won't scratch it up, um, but it still lasts a long time and that makes it my favorite scrubbing pad. All right, we've gone ahead and cleaned the glass up and you can tell the tank looks a lot better, except you are getting some cloudiness in the water that's just because we stirred everything up. The protein skimmer and filter are gonna catch those particles, clear up the water really quick. It's a really good idea after cleaning your glass and stirring things up to clean the protein skimmer out as well as the filter to get rid of any of that debris it trapped. And this is also a great opportunity to do a water change where you'll suck out some of the things you just stirred up. You may be asking, how often should I expect to clean the glass? If you have a tank, you're gonna get algae. You got fish pooping in there, you got a light, you're gonna get algae growing. Generally, I find I try to do a once a week cleaning with a scraper and the pad, and then the algae magnet on the side, 
just whenever I feel like it. So if I come in in the morning and see something, I'll scrub it. It's probably every day I'm scrubbing a little bit to keep it looking nice. And then once a week I do a thorough cleaning. If you like what you saw today, stay tuned because after you clean your glass, it's a great time to do a water change. And we're gonna show you guys how to do that in the next video.